next pass. Nice catch. Right about the nine. Run it. Down to the four goes Allen Emmonson. Sophomore out of San Rafael, California. And there's Archuleta to drag him down. He's been everywhere today. Gain of five. Correction, gain of four. Second and goal at the four. Timeout. Timeout, Oregon. Oregon. They got one left. How do you feel about overtime, partner? I wouldn't be surprised. We're now at 1100 and something. <laughs> that's, just, that's unbelievable with these two defenses. Who would have thunk it? 1141 yards. Well, I don't know that anybody would have expected uh, uh, Jeff Cron to have the kind of day he's had. But it's been, he's been brilliant. He sure has. And the running backs were strong. And the offensive line was good. But Oregon, like a champion, just keeps battling back. Well, you are at second down and goal from the four-yard line. A minute and 36 seconds remain. Maurice Morris is on the sidelines with bruised ribs. Alan Amundsen is the tailback. Crazy as it sounds now, you don't want to score too quickly and give the ball back to Arizona. Arizona State. Do you want to run the ball here or do you start throwing it? I'd run it. I, I would, I'd take my time here. That's Harry in motion. You may have had a crack in the concentration here. Movement by Oregon along the front. That'll change the whole thing. Dead ball. Dead ball. Ball starts. Here we on go. The Five yards. Still second down. So the ball comes back now to the nine-yard line, where it is second down and goal from the nine. Here are the BCS standings and the upsets you were talking about with Nebraska losing, and you had Clemson lost, and Virginia Tech did win. They pulled that out, even though Vic got that sprained ankle and had to leave the game. They came back and won. Now they're going to have to, I think, go to the air on second and goal from the nine. Harrington throws it, throws it away. He was looking for Tucker, and Tucker was covered. So rather than risk it, he threw it away. Looked like he was waiting for Tucker to come back inside, and he rolled to the outside. Miscommunication. See, he goes to the outside right there and looks back in. And Harrington was signaling for him to go across, come back to the inside to him. Third and goal from the nine. Third and goal. No. Wow. Hit him in the chest with it. Justin Peel, Alfred Williams defending. It is fourth and goal from the nine. Oh, my, did he throw a strike. I thought Peel had it. He oh. throws this thing so hard. And here's Peel. There's your touchdown. Never I, had it. It was loose when he hit the ground. Harrington took a lick at the end of it, but he's been taking those all day. He threw a perfect pass to Peel. Fourth and goal. This is it for the Ducks. in the end zone. Willie Daniel made the play. Willie Daniel's been bumped and bruised all day. Archuleta gets him from behind. Daniel gets him from the front. And what a stick by Daniel. All your power comes from your legs. And he exploded and uncoiled in the field. Number 40, Archuleta, he drops back, he's got Peel. Now he drives down, takes his legs, and look at the hit up top, and just prevented him from breaking that goal line, the invisible plane. Look at this. Archuleta dives at his feet. Daniel makes the stick up top, and that is a picture-perfect play. 